July 4th, 1982, Gary and Mary and my parents, my brother, we were all there at our property, the Triple R, and we were enjoying a holiday weekend. It's probably one of the first times that we really had a get together on our property. I never heard Gary in an argument. I never heard Gary get mad. I never saw Gary cuss. I never saw him be anything but a gentleman to everybody. What the family didn't know is that Gary had been arrested for soliciting prostitutes. I knew nothing about that life of his. He appeared to be nothing but a family man. Gary left that party to go to the SeaTac Strip, where he would meet his first victim, Wendy Caulfield. Wendy Cofield was uh, out and about, you know, she was very young, uh, happy-go-lucky young lady, uh, but very headstrong and, you know, of course, would not listen to parents and she was in Tacoma a lot, she was in Seattle, so she was out in the streets meeting a lot of people, street people, and uh, basically hanging around areas where there were prostitution. I think a lot of young ladies ended up in Gary Ridgway's car because he was unassuming. He was disarming. He could basically uh, convince you of something you didn't want to do, and that, that was Gary. He was uh, just a normal, everyday, average guy. He was an uncle. I never felt unsafe with him. And he seemed normal. He seemed like a jovial guy. But then he's, he's doing these things which I just, I, I just can't comprehend. I could have easily been one of the girls that um, one of his victims. He looks just like most of the other guys, so I don't know, but I probably would have gotten his car. He looked pretty harmless. On July 18th, 1982, two boys riding their bicycles across the river looked down and saw Wendy Caulfield's body. Wendy Cofield was the first, and she, she was, was found here. She's the one who was found, and he got the name the Green River Killer after that. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it was because of finding her body in here, like right over there. 